Joan of Arc, Part 1 Joan of Arc is one of the most famous women in history. She not only became a saint, she was also a brave leader of her country's army. But Joan was not the daughter of a king or a great soldier. She grew up on an ordinary farm in the French countryside. Joan was born in 1412. She had four brothers and sisters. Her mother and father were farmers. John sometimes helped her parents by taking care of the sheep and cattle. She didn't go to school and she never learned to read or write. John's family was very religious. Once a week, John went to church with her sister and friends. They prayed to Saint Margaret, Saint Catherine and Saint Michael. These three saints became very important to John later in her life. When John was born, England and France were fighting a very long war. Today it is always called the Hundred Years' War because it lasted for about a hundred years. In 1415, the English army won an important battle in France. The French were losing the war, so in 1420, they made an agreement. When the King of France died, France would belong to Henry, the King of England. It was a terrible disaster for the French. At this time, John was only eight years old. She probably heard her parents talking about the war. In 1425, when Joan was 13 years old, she began to have strange visions. She saw the faces of the three saints. She recognized them because of the statues in the church. The saints also spoke to her. At first, people didn't believe John. Why had the saints chosen a simple girl like Joan? What was so special about her?